Hello there and welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming along and watching. So today we're going to learn some important things. So here I have a piece of paper and this piece of paper I'm actually testing the consistency of my paint. The first one is this black which is my base paint. So I'm going to test the consistency. So when you're doing acrylic pouring all your paints need to have same ingredients, same consistency as in how well they flow off this paper. So I'm putting um, a dot, try to use the same size dot for each one. And, um, and once I get them all on here, then I'm gonna hold up the paper and count a couple seconds and see if they run down at the same speed so here so we're looking and so they're running down at the same speed so if one was running faster and you need to thicken it up this is the product you use to thicken up your paint so uh, they can run at the same consistency okay so um, here it looks like you ran because I just hold it a little longer but I'm um, like I said, if you have one that runs uh, thinner and faster, use this, pour it into your paint to thicken it up. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna retest it to make sure it has the same consistency now as the rest of them. So that's what you do before you start. So the difference in layering and combining your paint so i have this cup here and so what i'm gonna do uh, i'm moving the base paint out of the way first and i'm going to uh, combine these paints so combining the paint is it doesn't i mean it depends on you the color that you want to start with first but remember first in last out so here i'm pouring this into the cup and come on it as you see I'm pouring it on the side um, of the, and this is layering not combining myself by that this is layering you pour it to the side of the cup not in the center of the cup not that you pour it to the side so it can drain down the side and smoothly go into the cup so I'm gonna do all of these the same way and what happens is like this is just a small amount but if it was a large amount, you would see that the paint actually um, sits on top of each other in the cup. And that's called layering. So even when you look at the cup from the side, you will see the different layers of paint in the cup. And that's layering. So that's what I'm doing here, layering this, these paints. the paints so here I take the paint and I pour it in the center of the cup you know low and then I move it up higher 
to pour it in the center of the cup. So I'm gonna do each one of these the same way. I start low and then I go up high. And so what happens, the paint end up combining with the paint that is below it. So that's why it's called combining the paint. And some paints end up sinking faster than others because some paints are heavier. So here, I'm just combining the paints in the cup. comparison and here you see this is the one I layer and the other one is the one I combine and they're both beautiful to me so let me know which one you like and which one you prefer layering or combining your paint and of course as you go on and experiment you realize that layering and combining depends on what you're trying to accomplish in your painting that one may cause for land, one may cause for combining. But I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. It has been a pleasure. Um, continue to step out of your comfort zone. And let me know in the comments which one that you like. And love y'all. Stay safe and be positive. Bye.